for adding IIIF support to from the page. And we want to start with this diagram describing the different um, activities that, that people use from the page for and then focus in on the IIIF pieces that we added. Um, so imagine a papers project for a group of uh, Smiths. Um, there's a family diary. Um, there's a printed family history that's been scanned and uploaded in the Internet Archive through family history digitization collections. Um, there are um, some Spanish language um, documents that have been photographed and uploaded via a mobile uploader. Um, and then there's a ledger that has been digitized somewhere in a uh, library repository and sits in a digital library system that supports IIIF. Um, so normally what we'd be doing would be um, transcribing the diary, um, adding tables to a ledger, uh, transcribing and translating the Spanish language documents, and then for the printed materials, correcting the OCR, and then pulling the data out of the system, um, either as TEI XML, um, as HTML, um, or pulling out uh, some of the more encoded data as CSV tables. And uh, that is all on top of actually, you know, people reading the documents online on the system itself. Um, so for years, we've had a lot of challenges relating not to the collaborative editing functionality, but to the efforts involved in getting data into the system and getting data out. Um, in other words, um, the majority of support requests that we receive are not about transcribing or collaborating to translate. They're about uploading PDF files. Um, they're about FTPing documents around. Um, and so, and that's because really there's been no really easy way to integrate with digital library systems um, that might support interoperable formats for presenting uh, manuscript material. And IIIF changes all of that. So for this project that was funded by a IIIF commissioned implementation grant, um, we added two new steps to the workflow that we think are, are pretty cool. Um, we added the ability to import manuscript material from digital library systems that support IIIF and then allow that material to be transcribed, you know, all the same activities, transcribe, translate, all those things, and happen on the material inside the system. Separately, we added the ability to export documents with their transcripts, with their translations, with their annotations um, to any client like Mirador, the Universal Viewer, and hopefully more soon, that supports IIIF. Um, so these are really two separate pieces, um, but they can work together. We can have a complete pass-through in which documents come in from a digital library system via the IIIF import, they're transcribed on from the page, and then they're exported as open annotations and viewed and published as um, IIIF content and the Universal Viewer on a different or even the same digital library system. So let's try it out and see how it works. So we're going to start a project and we have a step, you know, ordinarily starting a project, you'd upload files or you'd, um, you know, connect things with your, with your mobile device and upload from those. Um, what we're going to do in this case is import from a IIIF repository. We have the ability to type in one by hand or to navigate them. So we're going to look at material at University College Dublin. Um, they are exposing their material um, as IIIF collections. So we see that there are collections here. We're going to drill in on the UCD letters collection. And let me point out that from the page doesn't have local copies of UCD's uh, catalog system. Every time the user is clicking on these pieces of material, um, they're actually, uh, we're actually connecting and making our IIIF presentation API request to ingest this metadata and represent it. Um, so in this case, the, there's this interesting document um, where John Henry Newman says, I'm sorry, I can't respond to you right now because I'm, I'm too old to answer all my letters. So we're going to click on that document.
and that fetches a IIIF manifest. And now we're going to import the document. And we want to import it into a transcription project, a collection called UCD Letters. And now we have a transcribable document. Um, so what this did was it read in the IIIF presentation API manifest and pulled in all of the metadata that's needed for a transcription project. Um, in this case, it's a single page, so there's not a lot there. Um, but it created the corresponding uh, data structures within the From the Page transcription tool to allow the system to be transcribed. Um, here we're actually looking at the document. If we hit the Transcribe tab, um, we can see again. Um, the cool thing that IIIF lets you do is present images, not just their metadata, but the images themselves from elsewhere. So this facsimile that we see here on the left side of the screen um, is actually being served by OpenSea Dragon locally in the user's browser. Um, but the images themselves are actually coming from University College Dublin and from their digital library system so that we don't have to actually transport images around. No one has to FTP files. Um, the great thing about OpenSea Dragon is that it works with um, existing tiling systems, so we don't have to download the entire thing for high resolution. It supports panning and zooming. It's great. So we're going to cheat a little bit and paste in the transcript. Uh, I regret to say I'm too old to attempt to answer letters. I wish you could, I could send you something better. And we'll save the changes to that. And in this case, I think um, let's just declare that we're going to make this project a bilingual edition. So if we edit the work itself, um, we're going to support a Spanish translation of this. So we're going to say that this document, um, we want to support people transcribing it as well. So now if we go back into the document, and click the Read tab there. And we click on the page, we should see a brand new translate tab that presents our transcript and allows us to translate it as well. And we're going to paste in a, a terrible machine translated uh, Spanish version of this. And save it. Okay, so what's really neat about this, again, is that um, no one had to FTP any files around. No one had to set up all the metadata for the transcription project in from the page. They only had to import it. And all of the metadata that have been created in the UCD system is ingested into the from the page system for the collaborators to use. So we can add notes to it. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's just ready to go immediately. So that is the import facility. So let's talk for a bit about the export facility. Um, all documents at this point that exist in from the page are um, now exposed, whether they originated as IIIF content or whether they were um, transcribed, uh, uploaded directly to the system. And they are presented as IIIF uh, collections. So we have these. JSON LD documents that the system is now creating. Um, this is the top level collection manifest. Uh, if we want to drill into this uh, document we've been working with, there's this UCD letters. And the Jolly transcription project is actually pretty neat. Let's, uh, let's take a look at that one, that uh, collection 47 right there. So if we take a look in collection 47, then we see a couple of different manifests displayed. And so we can take one of these manifests and drill into it. And we see this that's, that's dynamically generated um, from the corresponding um, data structures within from the page. We're generating this JSON LD document for the IIIF manifest. It includes the uh, labels that have been defined by the people who uploaded this into the system. Um, and then it uses RIF which is a Ruby library for the IIIF image API 
to display um, the actual images themselves. You can also see each one of these canvases has an other content section in which we can see that there are notes and there are transcriptions. So these are open annotations that, um, uh, these are annotation lists that display the user-generated content in a way that can be ingested by other systems. So in this case, why don't we take a look in Mirador for the Jolly transcription thing? So it's, uh, it's actually very pretty. Um, so we take this manifest and we can put it in Mirador and close an object and we'll create a new object and add this document directly. And if we go ahead and click on it, then that is going to hit the from the page servers and it's going to pull in this manuscript which is written in melee and uh, written in an old-fashioned melee script based on arabic and if we look at the annotations we can see the transcription that these users have been do doing um, transcribing the document and transliterating it at the same time into uh, the modern latin alphabet version of melee so that's the export functionality, which is, again, really exciting um, because we didn't have to pull anything out in batch. We're able to hit the document directly. If this document were, uh, if the transcription or this page were corrected, um, the next person who came in and loaded it in Mirador, the Universal Viewer, would see the corrections immediately without anyone having to do TEI XML exports and re-ingestions or anything like that. So um, let's try out this end-to-end -end functionality. Um, so if you recall, we ingested a IIIF document into from the page from uh, University College Dublin. And if we take a look at this collection, then we'll see the documents that we've ingested. We have a brand new manifest, 198. And this is the one that we just pulled in. We should be able to put that in the Universal Viewer. Once that loads for a while, that pulls in the note from John Henry Newman. Now, what this is doing, Universal Viewer is querying the image directly from University College Dublin. So it's going all the way back to the source. The, manifest itself it's getting from from the page and the reason for that is that this is essentially a derivative manifest we add metadata with dublin core source pointing to the UC, ucd manifest that we ingested but we always need that pointer back to the original manifest um, because we want to be able to redirect users back to the original document in case metadata is improved by UCD, something like that. We, we want to make sure that they have access to that. So that is an end-to-end -end flow through of um, from the page using IIIF content originating UC Dublin and then displayed in a uh, IIIF client like the Universal Viewer. And um, I think that concludes our demo.